usually for knee ride. <clears throat> I'll use it to open guys up that are kind of clingy. Um, when I say clingy, they're hold on too tight. So that's usually a good way to open them up as with knee ride. Um, and it's also <clears throat> it's a good way to get things going. Usually the new guys, uh, less experienced guys, will get in this position and they'll just kind of be fighting. If they can get a hand here, it's fine. But trust me, if you can get your knee in the belly, so just push up, hold on to me, and just hands it's up. It's going to pry them out. It's a lot of weight, especially when you're pointing this way. So uh, hang on to me. So that's a good start. Take a knee ride, popping up to it. Myself, I usually go hands to the floor. So if I'm here, I'm hands to the floor. Oh. Right now. So, you see how my the legs are straight line? It's not too bent where he can hook it and start working on that. Just straight out. And I try to, <laughs> wherever the stern is at, I try to go across it, put some pressure here. Some guys will go across the belly like that, and that's okay. It's not quite as, uh, there's two reasons, two things here. So if I'll go across the belly, it's not quite the pressure, but he can't get a wedge in, he can't get his hand in. So I can ride him a little bit longer, but not quite as powerful. So I put the belly right here on the sternum and drive pressure, it's really painful. And it makes him react, right? So, and, and he'll give me something with that. So there's two options, but there's a counter here. He can scoop under the leg, wrap my pants, push me back. If I don't react, he can take that if he knows it. Usually I'm not there long enough, so what I'll do is I'll come here to knee rise, and usually they're going to push here or they're going to wedge. Um, you know, I'll attack here, I'll attack here. Um, yeah, those are two easy basic ones. Um, if he goes push and I lose it, then I'll just come back around to this side. Kind of a reverse uh, knee ride. <coughs> um, I'm getting my thoughts together. Time to this. I mean, I don't just put, put it all together. So, right now it's a reverse knee ride. If he pushes this, you can come back to here. So, that's the first drill. So, what you'll do as beginner guys, you're just looking to pop up, get your stability, knee to belly, feels pretty, pretty good. Okay. So he'll push gently on this side, he'll come around with this, or on this side. Trying to get on his face or his throat, I did that, but he can put it on his chest, it's a little better for him. Now competition, you can come here, and it's not, it doesn't feel good, right? I thought he put most of my weight on and he pushes this really off, and I'm back here again. Okay. You can open up a lot of stuff with that position too. So that's one thing. Another one, um, you go knee to belly, and you come straight to mount, straight to knee to belly, and mount, to the belly, and mount. So, that's an easy little drill to kind of go from knee ride to mount. If he's got a good buck or if he's pushing one knee, like he pushes that, I immediately come out to knee ride. Because I'll lose it if I stay. If he goes two on one, it's hard for me to feel like you going to I end up getting caught in half guard. So it's a great way to segue. If he's two on one, that's where it ends up. So, um, <clears throat> first drill, come up, the belly, 